I want to talk to you for a few minutes today about my precious mother. She lived until she was 88 years of age, and if ever there was a saint born in this world, it was my mother. I'd like to tell you just a couple of things on how I was raised. She was a saint, that's for sure. Her name was Dorcas Hale. Her maiden name was Dorcas Humphreys. She mothered, married my father, who of course was Scotty Hale. And uh, they were married for over 50 years. My first remembrance of my mother, when I was a little boy of what, two, three, four? I don't know. But the first picture I have in my mind of my mother is seeing her on her knees. I saw her weep over the erring one. I saw her cry when people passed away and they weren't saved. I saw her being so faithful to the church, to prayer meetings, to everything to do with going to God's house. I saw her being so faithful to her tithes and offerings when I'm being raised. But then, there were different times as I was growing up, she would pull me to her side and say, son, one day you'll preach the gospel. And I want you to be a watchman on the wall and warn the people. Now, I've told you that before, but I don't think I've told you much about the part I want to share with you today. There was a time in my young life, she came to me and she said, the Lord has given to me scriptures for you. These apply in your life. At that time, I didn't understand them very well, but I'm going to read them to you. And then in a little bit, we'll put one of them on the screen, but not just yet. Deuteronomy 32, verses 10 through 12. He found him in a desert land and in the waste howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirreth up her nest, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them and beareth them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him. I'm going to put that one up for you now. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. I look back on my life, giving God the glory. What a perfect description. He found me in a desert land, seeking God and going through battles and nobody understanding me. He found me in, the waste, in, in a waste howling wilderness. He led him about. We all want to be led, but I said he led him about here and there. He was instructing him all the time. He kept him. I'm so grateful and I don't deserve it, but I'm telling you what happened to me in fulfillment of what my mother said. Kept him as the apple of his eye. And then suddenly we burst uh, out, as it were, as an eagle stirreth up her nest, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, beareth her on her wings. Fruit started to come, blessings started to come. This mighty tabernacle started to come, all kinds of things. But it's this verse. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. And I can look back whether we're talking about Faith Tabernacle, to Faith Cathedral, to America, to Kissimmee, to Clearwater, to Tarpon Springs. He led me about, instructing me, teaching me. But not only did the Lord lead him about these wonderful words, and there was no strange God with him. Money was never my God. Popularity was never my God. Fame was never my God to be well known and, and, and cheered by the crowd was never my God. I have got in me the deepest desire that I can't explain to anybody to obey God, come what may, obey God. Over and over and over, that's the driving force of my life, whether I'm talking about today, last week, or 40 years ago, or 60 years ago. To God be the glory for all this. It was my mother who got these scriptures, and I'm going to read you that last one again. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no 
strange God with him. Don't you like that? And I'll see you next time. God richly bless you.